In this video, we will learn how to document our REST APIs using the Open API specification. We'll be using Swagger as uh, the tool to document the REST API. And to use Swagger, we'll be using the Spring Doc Open API library to provide integration with Swagger and document our REST APIs. We'll be mainly we'll be mainly documenting our three services: the product service, order service, and the inventory service and we'll see how, how to expose the REST API documentation over the API gateway. Without any further delay, let's start the video. So first of all, let's understand what is this Open API. So Open API is a specification that uh, provides a formal standard for describing the HTTP APIs, as it says here inside the doc, inside the website. So it mainly uh, standardizes the practice of uh, documenting your APIs so that it describes all the things like how your API looks like, how to access your API, which authentication methods you have to use to access your API, what is the request body, what is the request parameters, all the information we need to access Access the API. This will be documented, and uh, Open API provides a specification on how to document your API. And uh, we have a tool called as Swagger, which uses this Open API specification and provides us a library to document our REST APIs. So a good analogy to describe the relation between Open API and Swagger is uh, similar to how Hibernate and JPA works. Right. So in the Java uh, universe, if you want, JPA standardizes uh, the way how we can interact with the databases using a specification. And Hibernate is actually an implementation of the JPA specification. So similarly, Open API provides us a specification on how to document our APIs. And Swagger provides us some tools and libraries using which we can implement REST API documentation. So in specifically, as we are using Spring Boot, to be, we cannot directly use Swagger. We have to use, we can use it using a library called as Spring Doc Open API. So the Spring Doc Open API provides us a Java library so that we can uh, document our REST APIs. It also provides us uh, auto configuration features to automatically generate the documentation in the form of JSON. YAML and HTML formats. You can see that here the library supports OpenAPI 3, Spring Boot version 3, and it also provides uh, the features like uh, Swagger UI. It also provides good integration with OAuth 2, and it also provides uh, support of GraalVM native images. Let's go ahead and implement this library in our projects and document our REST APIs. All right, so now let's start the documenting our REST APIs with the product service. So I'm inside IntelliJ and I opened the product service uh, project. And here I'm going to go inside the pom.xml file and I have to add the dependency for Spring Doc Open API library to the pom.xml. For that, I'm going to uh, take the help of the documentation which I showed you before. So I'm going to go back to the documentation here and I'm going to click on the getting started section. So if you open the documentation, you can go to springdoc.org website and here I'm going to click on getting started. And here you can see that we have first uh, dependency called as Spring Doc Open API Starter Web MVC UI. So this dependency provides us uh, capabilities to generate documentation of our uh, project of a REST API in HTML format. So uh, for that, I just have to copy this uh, dependency and let's go back. Uh, we also have the possibility to generate uh, the documentation in the form of uh, in the JSON and YAML. For now, we will just use the web MVC UI option to generate the documentation using uh, uh, in HTML format. So let's go back to the project and here I'm going to add the dependency and I'm going to click on the Maven icon to the top right side corner to force IntelliJ to download this dependency. The next thing we are going to do here is we have to change the path of the URL. So where the Swagger documentation is accessible. So for that, I'm going to open source main resources application.properties and I'm going to add a property called as spring doc dot swagger spring doc dot swagger ui dot path and this path I'm going to define it as slash swagger ui dot html so by defining this path we can access the uh, rest documentation uh, rest api documentation in the for example in the path http localhost 8080 slash swagger 
UI dot HTML. So when you open this uh, URL, then you can access the REST API documentation in the HTML format, right? So actually, this is what we. This is the very basic thing you need to do to define uh, the to generate the REST API documentation. So now make sure that you have the Docker Compose up and running to run the MongoDB database, and let's restart our application, the product service application. Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to go open the browser. I'm going to open the browser and I'm going to go to the URL localhost8080 slash swagger UI slash index.html. And you can see that the library has automatically created a nice looking documentation website, documentation uh, using the, in the HTML format. And here you can see that we have the product controller uh, and the two endpoints we have. We have one post endpoint, which is used to create uh, the product and one get endpoint which is used to read the product so all the required definitions like uh, the payload so this is the payload we are going to we are taking and this is the response we our api is uh, is sending back so all this information is nicely documented for us so if you want to have a look at the schema of the payload you can see that the product request is added as a schema and inside the schema we have the fields id name description and price and if you just expand here you can see what kind of uh, data type this um, is this particular field is so you can see that the price is a number and you can also see what is examine the product response so of course we all we all we have the almost similar uh, response uh, similar fields like product request here but you can understand this is uh, really helpful whenever you want to onboard a new user into a new client in client new new client to consume your api you can just provide the link to this api documentation and the client or consumer will automatically understand will get a good overview of how to access your rest api by just uh, referring to this uh, documentation right so this is one of uh, uh, the advantages of also documenting your REST API so that it provides a, a transparency, provides transparency and clarity on what your API is providing. This is the very basic thing you have to do. And of course, you can customize this documentation by providing much more information. So if you want to, uh, instead of uh, providing the information like open API definition, customize this to display it as product service REST API, something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I am inside the IDE again, and let's create a configuration. So let's configure our uh, REST API documentation to provide more information about our service. So for that, I'm going to expand the Java package and I'm going to create a new package here called as config. And inside this package, I'm going to create a new Java class called as open API config. And I'm going to add the configuration annotation on top of this open API config class. And here I'm going to create a bean with the type as public and I'm going to call it as open API. This will be the written type. And uh, the bean name is going to be product service API. And in here I'm going to add a return statement and I'm going to create a object for open API class and here I'm going to add the information through the info method and to the info method I'm going to type in new info dot title is going to be product service API if I can spell service correctly and uh, we can have uh, some other fields like description contact extensions, license, summary, version number. So you can provide a lot of information here. So let's provide the description as um, this is the REST API for product service. And I'm going to provide the version as version 0 0.0 0.1. And we have to provide also the license. So for the license, I'm going to provide object for new license dot name and I'm going to provide the license as Apache 2.0.
and once this is done i'm going to also add some links to the extra so some add some additional information like external docs so you can provide also some external documentation that means if you want to have uh, include the links to uh, some other extensive documentation you can also provide the links here so using the external documentation section so inside the external docs method i'm going to create a new object for external documentation dot description i can uh, add a description like you can refer to the product service wiki documentation and we're going to provide the url as https product service dummy url dot com slash docs right so in this way we can provide some documentation about our documentation to describe your service inside open api let's rerun the application and let's see if this information is reflected in the swagger ui html documentation or not so let's go back to the browser and refresh and here you can see that uh, uh, that this information is reflected correctly so we have this product service api and the description that this is the restful rest api for product service we have the license information and we can also have see that the url for the external documentation you can refer to the product service wiki documentation if i click on it nothing will happen because this is a dummy url but you get the idea so now let's also see how to expose the rest api documentation in the json format so for that i'm going to go back to the open api documentation and here i'm going to go to the getting started section again and if you just scroll down you can see the spring web mvc support section and here i am going to copy this uh, dependency spring doc open api starter web mvc api so this is mainly used for uh, if you want to access the documentation as an api i'm going to go back to the ide and i'm going to go to the pom.xml and i'm going to paste this particular dependency in here and i'm going to click on the maven icon to the top right side corner to force intellij to download the dependency and once this is done i'm going to go back to the application.properties file and i'm going to type in spring doc dot api docs dot path and i'm going to provide this as slash api docs so if you access the url for example http localhost 8080 slash api docs then you will see the rest api documentation in the form of uh, json so let's restart our application and go back to the browser and if i replace the slash swagger ui with api docs you can see that we and see the rest api in the form of a json so here we see that we have this info object with the title product service and all the information we gave also about the external docs we have the information about the servers we have the information about the paths so we have the slash api paths which is using for for the get method and also the post method we have it here and we also have other information like product schema uh the schemas like product request and product response so all this information is provided in the form of a json so if you want to access the api uh, rest api in the form of a json api then you can use this um, use this option so now you saw now we saw how to document our api our rest api in html and json formats so now let's do the same thing for the order service as well as the inventory service uh, so i opened the order service in my ide so here what we have to do is very simple we just have to copy and paste the dependencies and the configuration from the product service so i'm going to open product service here and i'm going to go to the pom.xml and copy these two dependencies the first one is this web mvc ui and web mvc api let's go back to the order service and in here i'm going to paste these two dependencies inside the order service pom.xml and click on the maven icon to the top right side corner and let's go to the source main resources folder and here also 
let's go back to product service and go to the application properties and i'm going to copy this to properties and i'm going to go back and paste this to properties here and finally we have to create a configuration class for the open api config so for that i'm going to create a new java class inside a package called as config and i'm going to call this class as open api config so also for this we can just copy and paste the whole configuration from the product service i'm going to copy the whole class except for the package statement i'm going to go back to the order service and here i'm going to paste this just inside the class and i'm going to rename the bean name from product service api to order service api and i'm going to change the title of product service to order service and let's replace all the occurrences of product with order all right so now let's that's all we need so let's start the application okay and you can see that the application is running successfully on port 8081 so now let's open our so let's open the browser and let's go to the url localhost 8081 slash api docs and you can see that we see first see the api information in the form of a json that's good so now i'm going to open the swagger ui slash index.html page and also here we see the order service api is documented correctly so we have the documentation for the slash api slash order endpoint of course this is a post uh, method and it's taking the payload order numbers q code price and quantity everything seems to be correct and also in the schema we have the order request with the same fields so order numbers q code price and quantity and also here we see the data types of all the fields that's good so now let's um, do this also for the inventory service i'm not going to show this again because this is the same thing i have to do for inventory service so i will do this uh, offline and i will come back to you once everything is done all right so i've made the changes and i've opened the url localhost 8082 ui slash index.html and here you can see that the documentation for the rest api documentation says inventory service api we also see the endpoint slash api slash inventory which is a get endpoint if you expand you can see that we have two query param request parameters q code and quantity and the response here we are sending the boolean as response with the status code as 200 so this is the api for the inventory controller so we have documented all the three apis we also have the uh, let's also see the documentation in the json format so if i just click on here it will open a new url new tab which is pointing to localhost 8082 slash api docs and here you can see the api documentation in the json format so we have documented all the three services product service order service and the inventory service but the one thing you may have already observed is that we are accessing this api through the services itself directly right so this is fine for now but as we progress inside the course we will restrict the access to the order service the api service and inventory service so we will not allow our direct access to the services we will only allow the access through the api gateway so in the next part what we will do is we will try to aggregate all this information and provide a way to access this information through the api gateway itself so we will see how to do that in the next video and i will see you in the next video until then happy coding techies